Unstract is your one-stop shop if you're dealing with unstructured data. Whether it's a PNG, a text, a document, or a PDF, it can convert that into structure. The platform was purpose-built for LM-powered unstructured data extraction. And why do we need to handle this unstructured data? And what's the problem with it? So handling a wide variety of document formats without manual annotation is going to consume a lot of time. And you might need someone on your team that is fully committed to this job role, which is often called data entry. And here you can see how it converts unstructured data into something that you can plug into your vector databases or your Excel sheets. And using this, you can scale this process. Now to start with Unstract, you get a 14-day free trial on Unstract Cloud. But if you just want to use the LLM Whisper, you can try it for free forever. And if you want to use the Unstract open source edition, you can go to the GitHub, which is right here. And you can set this up locally on your machine as well, but you will need some API keys and much more. But in this video, we'll be talking about the Unstract cloud only. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start a free trial here. And one more thing is that you can access their documentation by clicking right here and it would look something like this. This is a very structured documentation and a really powerful guide how to get started with Unstruck. You can use your email or your Google account to create an Unstruck account. I'm just going to go with my Google account here. All right, so once you sign up, you will see a dashboard like this one. So let's dive right in and explore what Unstruck can do for you. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Hoshim Rez and we're at the Unstruck dashboard right now and you can see we're in the build section here and we have two different options here one is the workflow where you can build no code data workflows for your unstructured data and i'm going to show you how you can create a new workflow you can either click here or here to create a new workflow what actually this workflow do so you can assign a workflow any task that you want it to do let's say i want to name this workflow as data extraction or maybe data extraction for invoices and in the description i'm just going to go ahead and say this workflow extracts data from invoices that's it let's create this workflow and here we can choose from different tools so i'm going to choose the text extractor tool from here and just drop it here now because i want to extract the text from the images or png or pdfs that's why i'm choosing this and then i will have to select connection type so mine is going to be api because i want to use this in my code base or in my project that i'm working on and down below we again have to select a connection type which is api so this is the output and the input was an api as well once we have selected your output to api you can actually deploy this by clicking here and you can display a name for this api so it's gonna be my data extraction api so i'm just gonna name it data and the api name is going to be data extract there you go and let's just save that now the new api is created now i have the api endpoint right here which i can plug into my next year's project or any other project that i'm working on and use this data extraction endpoint and you can even deploy further apis by clicking here and choosing the workflow that you want to access through the api let's just cancel this and now let's talk about what is the prompt studio now here are a few examples in the prompt studio and i'm just going to go with one of these examples let's say we go with the handwritten example right here so if i click here you can see that we have a pdf form right here which was filled by someone and we have some fields that we want to parse here so we can go ahead and add new fields to parse or we can configure these fields so let's say for applicant name you can give it a natural language prompt of what this field should do so this field will find out the applicant's name and if i run this you will see that it's going to go ahead and give me the name of the applicant from right here so there you go the name is ima card holder right there and one more interesting thing is that you get the number of tokens used the time taken and the course for this certain operation that you just did you can find out the citizenship the types of credit martial status contact detail and much more and you can add new fields here let's say you just want to know whether the card holder was married or not so i'm just going to go ahead and add a new prompt here and this time i'm just going to name it and here i can explain what this key is about so it's about whether the card holder is married or not get status there you go now once we run this so let's see oh there you go it says married and it took two seconds to run this so this is how you can extract data and just get what you need and here you can see the driver license details and the output is in json what this means is it's going to get all these key details from the driver license card right here and it's going to give us a json response which is really really mind-blowing i mean i'm in love with this prompt studio and how powerful this is and you can get a combined output for all the prompts that you have now as you can see we don't have values right here 
to the keys because we did not run these prompts. So if I run all of these prompts by clicking here, it should run all the prompts. And once we have results from all the prompts, I can go to the combined output. And here you can see I have all the output I need, everything that I needed from this PDF. So this is how powerful you can get with Unstract. And there's another example that I wanna talk about here. So we have a credit card invoice right here. So what if I just want to know the payment due date and the minimum payment due? So I'm just gonna go ahead and say there's a prompt here and I'm just gonna name it important info that I'm concerned with. And I'm gonna ask it, give me the minimum payment due and the payment due date in JSON. That's it. And I'm gonna change this to JSON right there. And let's go ahead and run this. So there you go, you have your JSON response right here. It's $205 right there. And you can see the due date as well exactly the same the data extraction part is really powerful and the prompt understanding is really on spot you must try out the prompt studio it is one of the most powerful feature unstract ever had now that was just the build part but in the settings you can go ahead and add new llms so if you click on new llm profile here you can choose from replicate which is coming soon anthropic mistral bedrock azure open ai you can go with vertex ai olama palm any scale and open ai as you can see here i have an azure gpt 4 llm which is in the free trial and i have gpt 4 my personal model that i have embedded into it and you can have multiple vector databases right now on the free trial you get access to postgres vector database but you can add multiple databases by clicking here like quadrant Pinecone, Milliverse, and Viavia. Same goes for embedding. You can have multiple embedding profiles by clicking here. You can add multiple providers. And if you go to the text extractor, you have a free trial to the LLM Bisper, and you can use this for lifetime for free, as we saw earlier at the start of this video. And the last thing is the platform settings. So you can go ahead and manage your user, what you want to see in the platform, what you don't want to see in the platform. So this is more like user perspective settings. So I'm not going to talk much about it. Now they have one more cool thing which is right here in the settings so if you go and see llm challenge here you can set a challenger llm now here you can set up a challenger llm i'm gonna go with gpt 4 and i'm gonna enable llm challenge let's save that so there you go the responses are out but if you see here there's a label named challenging response now what this does is it goes to llm whisper extracts the data and gives a response but then it goes and see if there is a challenging llm it goes and use that llm to extract that as well then it mix and match and see whether there are some issues whether there are some issues and solidifies the results so this is one powerful feature of actually having more solid and reliable results so in this video we went on and explored how powerful unstract is and how you're going to convert your unstructured data into a structured form using this amazing llm based system so with that said i want to wrap this video up if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.